Hello everyone. Now this video will teach you how to repair the corrupted SQL Server database. Uh, this one is very easy. If users have the Dolphin Data Recovery uh, Assistant Pro, and the fourth software module is the Repair DB, and here we usually select uh, this this one, bad database page and uh, 81 latitude bytes this is the page size and here we can select the corrupted database and uh, uh, corrupted database this one this is corrupted database and this is repaired database and uh, for repaired database we usually uh, select this one but we can Save, save the repaired database to a different place and then click save. So um, this is corrupted database parts and this, this one is a repair database. Please note that the database name must be the same. The repaired database name must be the same as the uh, original database name the corrupted database name, okay? And this part is used to uh, add the database uh, backup file. And here we can see uh, this is database backup file. And here, and we, we know uh, it's database case. Uh, this is the backup of the database. Anyway, it's the old file. Uh, it's the old backup, but we the program will make best use of the structure and some algorithms of the old database backup to repair the current data corrupted database. And then we simply click OK, and we can see uh, in the log window and uh, the database repair completed and here the lo uh, log has some issue anyway it doesn't matter and in the new software this will be fixed and actually all the damaged elements within the database uh, has been repaired now uh, we can go to the folder here Corrupted database, good to be. This is a corrupted database, and good to be. This is a repaired database. Now, how to test if this database is good or not, or how to test if this database is repaired? So we can go to the SQL Server uh, management software. And this is a must for all the database users, for especially for the SQL Server, okay? So for SQL Server Management uh, Studio, uh, this one is very important. Uh, users must uh, install this one. And here we can see the database. And to test if the database is good or not, uh, we need to uh, check, okay? We need to attach the database. Here we can add good to be. Okay, this is a database. Now let's check what happened at this time. Uh, if we select good the repair the database directly, now we can see that there is one error because all database comes with one log file LDF log file uh, if we attach directly users will get one uh, arrow uh, this this is because here the repaired database doesn't have the log file so how to get this log file to test if this database is repaired a lot so with the sql server uh, management software we can firstly we can uh, remove this one and click OK 
then we attach this database here, the ZXOA, okay? Now uh, we can go to the properties and click files and here the SQL Server um, management software will automatically create the latest log for this database. Click OK. Now we go to the folder. Okay, we go to the good bit database folder here. Um, database, corrupt database, good to be. Now we can see the log file is created automatically by the SQL Server uh, Management Studio. Okay, this one is created automatically. It's a must. Now uh, we can test if this uh, we can test now. Uh, okay, we can use this one. Now a new query. We can set up one new query to test this DB if it's good or not. We need to use one command like this dbcc check db and then here is the database name so this database name is from here okay so this command is used to test this database to say if the database is good or not after we uh, input this command we click okay parse okay after that, we can click execute, execute this command, and then we can wait until the command is complete, uh, completed. Now we can uh, pull to the end to check the database. Now we can see zero error, okay, zero error. That means, that means um, this database is good. It has no error and it has been repaired successfully. This is how we test if the database is good or not, it, if it is repaired or not. So it's, one, it's very easy. When users are trying to uh, repair the corrupted database uh, with the, the Dolphin Data Recovery System Pro, it's very easy to get the database repaired. But to test if the repaired database is good or not, users need to use the, this SQL Server management software to attach the database, to create a snog file, and then to set up one new query with command dbcc check db, and, with the, and then we add this database name, and then we click execute, after that, we can check if the database is finally uh, repaired a lot with some errors or without any errors. So this is how we use the Dolphin Data Recovery Assistant Pro to repair and check the database. Thank you for watching this video. Any question is welcome to the sales at dolphindatalab.com or users can uh, add Dolphin Skype ID dolphin.data.com